Following the week of strikes across the country, the cabinet has set up a subcommittee that will be chaired by the Minister for Public Service and will comprise of membership from the Ministry of Education, Minister for Higher Education, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Medical Services, that of Labour and the Office of the Attorney General. And the first sitting is expected to be tomorrow in which they will discuss the demands by the public servants and look at the cost and economic implication of this. Chaired by President Kibaki, the cabinet ironically asked striking public servants to obey the court orders that declared the strikes illegal and go back to work. They asked the public servants to enter into dialogue through the right procedure as provided for under the constitution with regards to public servants' wage bill. The meeting complicated matters further for teachers by referring them to the guidelines in the constitution which require that all entities begin the collective bargaining negotiations with the salaries commission within the government's budget cycle. This also as parliament directs the committee on delegated legislation to investigate the legalities of legal notices that continue to cause a rift between the teachers unions and government. It is important for government to negotiate with the NAT and teacher fraternity from the point of honesty. It's legal notice number 16 of 2003, which the teachers are stating is void and that the notice that should be discussed is the legal notice number 534 of 1997. For News at 8, I'm Shem Oluchiri.